How would you feel if when you woke up in the morning, you found a text message from Jesus on your phone? I mean, honestly, I would be super shocked and really excited at the same time. But here's what I wanna to put to you today, this week. Every day, there's an invitation for you from Jesus to step into his will and to step into his way. I think about from Luke chapter five, it's the account of when Jesus uh, invited his first disciples to start following him. And this is a crazy scenario because Jesus went out, he performed a miracle, and Peter witnessed this miracle of all these fish coming in the net. You guys remember the story, right? And then afterward, Peter's like, you need to go away from me, I'm an unholy person. And Jesus says, actually, follow me. They parked their boats, him and a couple other disciples, they got up and they started following Jesus. And he said to them, behold, I'm gonna make you fishers of men. And I love it because he invited them. He said, follow me. These two words can change our life. And I wanna tell you something. We've spent a lot of time inside our homes, kind of cloistered away. But I believe God is calling us as a church, faith family, to step out of our homes and into the lives of other people. There's an invitation every day from Jesus for you to follow him, to follow him into what he's doing, to follow him into sharing his heart with people who are around us. And I wanna challenge you today, are you gonna be the one who says yes to the invitation? Or are you gonna be one who says, maybe tomorrow? I'll tell you what, Peter would have missed out on something incredible if he had said no to Jesus that day. He would have missed out on a lifetime given in service to something eternal and to the honor and glory of Jesus. So I wanna encourage you today, it may be a small step. It might be a little invitation. It might be a little nudge to go and speak a kind word to someone or to pay for someone's groceries or to just, I don't know, be like Jesus today to someone that's difficult to love. But I believe that with the invitation comes the grace to do the thing Jesus is inviting you to do. So who are you gonna be today? Are you gonna be like the disciples and park your boats and follow Jesus into the adventure that he has for you? Or are you gonna stay in your comfort zone. Now is not the time for us to sit back. I love what Pastor Jason has been speaking to us about, really challenging us about our engagement with our community and our engagement with Jesus. Today, friends, this community needs you. It needs you, it needs you active, it needs you engaged, it needs you loving Jesus more than you ever have before and by the grace of God, serving the people that he puts in front of you today. So I don't know where you're headed today or this week, to work, to school, to, to family, whatever it might be, but be willing to answer that invitation when Jesus calls. He's calling. Will you answer?